Hey guys, welcome back to the Armory Life. Today, I want to show you guys a easy to build, collapsible barricade that you can take with you to the range, easily store it in a closet or uh, down in a basement or garage or something. And this is it right here. Uh, this was something that I built because primarily I drive a Jeep Wrangler to the range. And it's not like the four door Jeeps with a lot of storage space or anything like that. It's a two door Jeep, not a ton of space. And I wanted something that was lightweight that I would want to take with me often. Uh, I want to take it with me because I want to enhance my training drills. I want to make my range experience better by introducing movement, different positions into my shooting to kind of keep up my marksmanship skills uh, so that when we do go and have matches, I'm not going to be as rusty. So the genesis for this thing was actually a post that I had seen online where guys were making do-it-yourself barricades uh, and some guys were using folding metal saw horses. And the saw horses that they were using were, were pretty heavy. Uh, they were made from uh, a stamped, like heavy gauge metal. So they were heavy, but on the same flip side of that, they weren't as stable as I wanted them to be. So I looked around and I found these saw horses at Lowe's. You can also get them at Home Depot. But there is a sheet metal saw horse that uh, is really lightweight. The legs fold up, they collapse into the base here. So it just reduces the height of everything, makes everything a little bit more uh, compact and a little bit easier to store. So once I picked up the saw horse, it's about 23 bucks out the door. I picked up some two by fours. Those are gonna run you in about eight, nine bucks. And you'll need about nine lineal feet to make the framework that I have here. Super easy to make though. Um, I built the framework up so that I'd have multiple steps to shoot off of. And, uh, and then screwed it through the bottom uh, to the, the saw horse. Now, what that provides me is a basically a kneeling height step here at 30 inches. Then I have a like crouching height step here at 43 inches. And then I have a standing height of 53 and a half inches right here. Now I also have a little port right here to shoot through. And then a larger port that I've also uh, strung this 24 inch bungee cord through. Um, what this is just provides me another little feature to shoot off of, something a little bit more challenging than just kind of shooting off of this step. Now right here, I've got a little feature that I've um, kind of calling the theme, uh, simulated fence post. Uh, it's really just the extension from where this step was anchored in. I was gonna cut it and basically have it be flush, but I figured why not have just another little thing to shoot off of, add in some extra challenge. So that right there is it. So this whole thing right here though, when I'm at the range, it'll give me, I wanna say like six different shooting positions that I can choose from. Now, I really don't have anything low, but that's okay. I can still work with that. But uh, from basically kneeling height to standing height, I have six different positions to work with. So that's actually pretty good. Seven if I count the uh, bungee cord here. So uh, now let's talk a little bit about stability. You might be wondering, well, how just how stable can a sawhorse be shooting off of? The truth is, it's not bad. Uh, it's definitely stable enough for me. I don't load hard into barricades anyway, so I'll give it a little bit of load. And you can see here, there's a little bit of flex, but I'm not moving the legs at all, so it's pretty stable. I can't complain, because that's about how much load I'm gonna put into the barricade anyway. Can't complain about that. Weight is about, I'd say 12 pounds, so pretty easy to pick up, move around the range wherever I want it. Um, you know, that's that. It certainly meets all my needs. Of course, packing it up, if you've ever used a sawhorse, that's gonna be super easy. I'm gonna collapse this leg. Leg, and there you go. I'll wrap the bungee cord around the legs, make sure they don't fall out the bottom, but this will easily fit through the passenger door of my Jeep, throw it on the back seat with my gun bags, good to go. Uh, you know, I don't have to worry about it much. All right, out the door, materials, everything. That right there is about 45 bucks. So well under 50 bucks, easy weekend project to do. It's gonna make your range trips better. Hopefully make you a better marksman if you really work at it. And just a fun project, you know. Um, now, I do have a full set of plans. Uh, all the dimensions and everything that I used to build this barricade at the article at the Armory Life. So definitely go and check that out. There's also some pictures, uh, some other stuff in there to check out. So hopefully you guys roll over there, check it out, maybe build your own barricade. So that's it for me. You guys have a great day. Take it easy.